Hello guys, I hope you are having an amazing day. In this video, I will show you how to fix keyboard buttons that are not working. Three buttons on my keyboard stop working, escape, shift and control. So today, we will fix these keys. I bought this keyboard for my editing work in 2014 when I was setting up my editing rig. It served me for like 6 years and now had my first problem with it. This is a high-end RGB keyboard, but everything I show you in this video will be applicable on pretty much any keyboard. One more thing, if you are a video editor and want to buy this keyboard, then let me just give a quick review. This keyboard is really good but it's super massive. Just look how much space it's taking on this table. You will not be able to close your keyboard drawer once it's placed on it. Things you need for this task will be some alcohol or electric contact cleaner or WD-40 or something similar etc. Just apply it on tissue or cloth and rub the dirty area. First we will remove the rubber membrane. Our issue is not in this one. These two membranes is where our problem can exist. We will carefully separate it. If it gets damaged, we can render large portion of our keyboard using. I am seeing lots of rust in this area. Here the keys are not functioning, but escape key looks totally fine. Let's check its circuit. Oh, okay. So its circuit also passes through the same area. So whole issue is in this place. We will clean it all nicely. It looks like there is a problem. I am going to make a prediction that rest of buttons will be fine but escape will not work because there is just too much damage here. I will take a photo using micro lens because you guys will not be able to see it with regular camera phone. Now the checking part. Please do not connect your bare keyboard like this directly to a computer. It can kill you. Use a laptop and make sure laptop is not connected to external power. Use it on battery power. Place the rubber membrane properly on keyboard. Okay, so let's check the shift key first. And it's working. Now control key. And it's working fine too. Now escape key. And it's not working. As expected, too much damage. Now it's not a big issue on this keyboard. It has lots of spare keys. I can just program another key to perform escape function, but I will face this problem when I am in BIOS settings and similar type of scenario. So it's better to buy another keyboard. I will not buy this keyboard again, it's just too big and doesn't fit my desk keyboard glove. I will go for something a little smaller. So if you guys are wondering, this is what I bought, Red Dragon keyboard. This doesn't have 
dirt money keys and other ward but it's smaller than FX1. The Red Dragon 1 is weak but FX1 is just too massive. Also it uses one USB port compared to two on FX1. Anyhow I hope this video was helpful. You can use this method on any keyboard and it will work fine as long as damage is not too horrible like in my case. Like the video if it helped, subscribe for more videos like this. And if you have any other questions, feel free to ask in comments. See you guys again.